I want to introduce the concept in 4a, which is find a complex conjugate, and show you what that is. The number 2 plus i is complex, so is the number 2 minus i. These two numbers are considered complex conjugates of each other because the only way that they're different is the sign of the imaginary number is opposite from the other. The real number stays the same. And I'm going to show you what happens when you multiply these two together. If you do the FOIL method, you're going to have 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times negative i is negative 2i, i times positive 2 is plus 2i, a positive i times a negative i is negative i squared. Negative 2i plus 2i fall out. The 4 stays. Um, this minus i squared, well, the i squared becomes negative 1, so you have minus negative 1. That's the same as 4 plus 1, or 5. So this is going to be a very important uh, property for when we get into divide complex numbers. When you take a complex number and its conjugate, when you multiply them together, the imaginaries fall out. So again, I already talked about a complex number is a plus bi. Its conjugate is a minus bi. All you do is change the sign of the imaginary. So to wrap up learning objective A, we would list the complex conjugates of these numbers. So the complex conjugate of 11 minus 3i is 11 plus 3i. The complex conjugate of negative 6 plus 9i is minus 6 minus 9i. Do not change the real number. The conjugate of negative 1 minus i is negative 1 plus i.